to another video. Today I kind of wanted to address a topic that I feel like I can address because I've been through it twice now, and that is a wisdom tooth extraction. Say hi. Hey, say hi. We just got a bath today. We didn't like it very much, but sometimes you gotta wash your cat. Hey. Anyways, so I've had two surgeries now. Um, one I've had in America, and one I've had here in Germany. And so I'm gonna talk about both experiences and which I thought was better, and in general, overall, what to expect in terms of pain, in terms of medication, in terms of the aftercare. For anyone who's scared of getting the procedure, because really, I was terrified. Anything with my teeth, I get so terrified. Anything with surgery, I get terrified, so don't worry, I will help you through it, and I hope through this video, you will feel a bit more confident and better about it, so. Let's move on. Okay, so my first surgery I got in America, and that was just for my bottom wisdom teeth. Um, I had to do with my braces, and they were interfering. The, uh, my wisdom teeth were interfering with the procedure, and so I had to get them removed. And at the time, the orthodontist, dentist, he was the opinion that we didn't have to take out the top two because they weren't interfering with anything so far. So I left those in. And the first procedure I was put under, so I got the full uh, anesthetic. anesthetic. Yeah, I got the full on anesthetic where I was fully asleep and not aware of anything. And so they put me under and then they gave me my shots or the injections so you don't feel pain in your mouth, whatever. But I was already asleep for that. Personally, I did not like this dentist. He told me before <laughs> he put me under bye bye and I hope you wake up sweetie and as a patient of any age you are terrified if your dentist or doctor or physician says something like this to you. So yeah I was already pretty scared going into it. When I got out of it I was shaking like crazy. Um, I didn't remember much of the ride home. I was put straight into bed, ice around my face. I had this like ice pack that went all the way around and um, literally the first three days I was just in bed sleeping eating like milkshakes and soup, things like that, and totally numb because they were giving me hard drugs such as Oxycontin and um, on top of that ibuprofen and yeah, so a lot of drugs. So I was really out of it. I was sleeping most of the time. I don't remember much of this time. After about three days, I started getting major pains. I had to flush out my wounds with a syringe and that is also really... <laughs> Uh, disgusting don't don't think it's like fun or anything but you have to do it because if your wisdom teeth if the holes or wounds or whatever get infected they will have to open them up again and you do not want that so if I can re recommend anything from that experience just clean out your wounds clean out your holes whatever with once he tells you to and um, honestly if you have any pains after like a week you should definitely talk to your physician again because um, recovery time should only be maximum a week, I would say. And the first surgery, I definitely was in bed for a week. What also helps for pain is cloves. Cloves, um, if you put them in the wounds, a little tip. Anyway, so usually the physician will give you either, depending on what country you're in, um, some kind of pain relief. And most of the time it's ibuprofen and something else in America. And in Germany we just get ibuprofen, but just a stronger version. So. Here we get the 600 milligrams, and I just took four of those at the beginning and then reduced to two and then to one, and um, I didn't have any pain in my second recovery, and it was a bit sore. It's still a bit sore, I'm still recovering, but um, not bad at all. And always ice your face. Always, always, always. If I can tell you one thing from wisdom teeth extraction, ice your fucking face. <laughs> Sorry for language, but ice it because if, as long as you ice it, it will not swell, you will not get hamster cheeks, what everyone always tells you you will get after wisdom teeth extraction. You will not get that if you ice your face. And make sure the first two to three days you do it non-stop. Like, if you're, if you're eating or whatever, then you don't need to do it, and if you're sleeping, obviously. But um, the whole day, just keep, continue, buy about three or four ice packs, put them in the freezer, and then just rotate them. Honestly, it's the best thing you can do. Drink a lot of um, tea. Chamomile is good, there's this thing called Zaibai, I don't know what it's called in English, I'll have to look that up, but um, that tea is also really... Anyway, so my second surgery, 
Um, it was a lot better. My doctor, physician, whatever you want to call them, dentist, I don't even know if they're a special kind of dentist. Don't, don't quote me on that. Um, my dentist, he was great. He, he talked me through it and I feel like that's what a dentist should do. You should meet him beforehand. You should have a, you should feel comfortable with him or her and you should, um, he should or she should talk you through it and tell you the whole procedure because it will make you feel a lot more safe. Anyways, I went there for my appointment. Um, and then I went in for the surgery and I was really nervous but I was just telling myself if I don't think about it, which is important, if you don't think about it, it's not going to be as bad. And for this one, I had a half anesthetic. So I was awake during the procedure but I couldn't feel anything. And when I mean awake, you're not fucking awake. You're, you will forget two hours of your life, I promise. So don't be scared, they cover your eyes as well so you, you feel like you're sleeping. And it was over before I knew it and I was out of there and honestly this one I did have no pain at all um, maybe also because the surgery went a lot better they could pull the whole tooth out and it wasn't they didn't cut them up into pieces or anything so it wasn't as much of a process it was a lot better so if I can re recommend anything honestly after your procedure ice constantly put ice on it um, drink lots of tea uh, keep your any liquidy things the first few days, like try not to chew anything, well that's pretty obvious, but it really does help. And just take pain medication according to pain, but the first two to three days I would take a lot just so you don't have any pain whatsoever. And again, this is just my experience and my recommendations from my own experience, so like I said, you don't need to do any of this, it just don't be scared. It's not that bad, it's really not that bad. It sounds horrific, but once you're done with it, yeah, and I would show you my teeth, but I feel like that is kind of disgusting, but if you look them up online, they are pretty big, like, they are like huge chunks, like, the roots are so long, I was so surprised when they gave them to me, because I was like, that was in my fucking, like, head, mouth, brain, I don't know, obviously not brain, I'm here, so I hate comments for that, but like, they're up here, you have to think about that, and they come in, like, between the ages of 17 and 19, so they're in there a good, like, 17 years, which is crazy. Um, and when they grow out, it hurts so much, that's why, before I got my second surgery, this one was already starting to grow out, and it was just such a relief to get them out, honestly. So yeah, I hope this video helps, and kind of gives you an insight and really the thing is to know your doctor because with my first surgery I didn't speak with my doctor enough, I didn't ask him enough questions and that is really really important and you must do that and if you don't feel comfortable with your dentist or doctor no matter what surgery you're having, no matter what procedure find someone else because in the end it's always worth spending a bit more money on someone who you really trust on your teeth because teeth is something like hair like I don't trust everyone with my roots obviously so yeah, I hope this helps. Have a great day, guys, and I love you, and see you next time with a probably better video with makeup and shit, but I'm still recovering, so love you. Bye.